Go ahead, so stay, Jesse. You recognize this sound when it's the underground. You know the way down with what you like. With what you like. I was walking through a bank over there. I'm like. <laughs> Apologies to anybody I fondled. Hey, there's a lot of ass grabbing here tonight. I was like, was I supposed to bring a de designated ass grabber? Is that what's going on? I just, if need be, like, is there a, can I borrow one? I'll, I'll take applications later and get down to business. Oh, well, I'm gonna not, let's not go that direction. So, uh, quick question before, uh, before I get started. Like, if somebody's got a, a their car is promoting Donald. Is that a is that a Trumper sticker? I just making sure we've got like the right terminology down. It's almost August, finally, almost football season. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, so many months. Are you ready for some football? What genius came up with that? And because you know, like 10, 12 years ago, grad school. I was ready for all the football, every bit of fucking football there is. Oh my god. In Ball State University, 3 a.m. home opener replay against the fucking, I don't know, Abilene Christian. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. I, I'll, any football, any beer, let's do it. But I mean, like, you, you gotta consider, like, with age and the time, like, I got three kids, I got three jobs, and come on. Like, I can't have all the football anymore. So I went around, like, you ready for some football? Yeah. Fuck if I can do that. I, do the all anymore, but now I can do some, you know, here and there. A couple on Friday, maybe one Saturday, you know, whatever works. I can, I can do some football, but not all. But uh, football is actually like a recent thing for me. My original uh, predilection was towards combat sports, like wrestling, taekwondo, mixed martial arts. And that wasn't even like the like the natural progression for me, though. Like, I was really like there were no there was no sport like if there were other people there and there wasn't a book involved like fuck that I had nothing to do with it but uh, you know after you get your ass kicked a few times you know hopefully you don't start to enjoy that but when you actually go the other way and you're fighting back then you might start to enjoy actually winning it couple. so uh, if uh, if there are any here or anyone knows any educators hopefully they're good ones but if they're not I, I have a couple of things that I'd like to address you can pass on some information so. Uh, for instance, okay, so if anyone that you know or work with, if they tell kids, you know, you're getting your ass beat, stop hiding, you need to run away. You're not allowed in here, you gotta run away. And the kid says, well, I do, but they're bigger and faster. And they say, well, you need to learn to run faster. I need you to ask them to please quit their job and to drive their car as fast as they can into a cement wall. Really helpful. <laughs> but, uh, didn't, uh, you know, that being said, there's there's also a lot more uh, in terms of people not being very helpful. Uh, you try and go to Taekwondo, but your parents take you to like the cheapest, shittiest ones possible. So you go to the Y or whatever else, like anything they can get for free. And it's like, just trying to show you like little forms. And, stuff. and I'm like, look, I, I'm going to get my ass kicked three times tomorrow. I got like 8, 30, 12, 2. Like, I got shit to do. Like, I need something I can use fucking now. So... You gotta bounce around at like eight different Taekwondo academies before you find like one dude that's gonna teach like two moves. Like, here's how you need somebody in the balls, here's how you need somebody in the face. Go, thank you. Motherfucker, was it that fucking hard to show me that? Jesus Christ. But, uh, oh, another thing to pass it, because I'm obviously full of like really useful fucking information tonight. Um, you can, you can actually share this with anybody though. Um, so if there's, if there's somebody who's, who's doing the ass kicking, especially if they're in groups of like three to five, um, if they're only beating the fuck out of people who are like 50 pounds lighter than them, calling the person who's getting beat up a pussy is kind of counterintuitive. So if you could just let them know, like, the actual pussies would be the ones who can't fight anybody their own size, or one-on-one, -on -one, or all of the above. So, you know, just, we're, we're, getting out the, uh, we're getting out the word here, so I think it's educational, ass-kicking 101, I guess. No, it's not. <laughs> I said it for you. I just want to hear me. Come on, you Murder city alert. Y'all gonna die. It's a storm. I'm sorry. I thought it was an exercise on ABC. So I've been working at 
break it out again lately though, because I was you know, I wasn't doing much fighting or working out or anything, so I just it's not really relevant. Just if you'd see me around and you're wondering like why I wasn't getting fat anymore, kinda of went back the other way. It's a lot of it. But um, you know, sometimes you end up you work out so hard, like the other day. I worked out so hard and I was doing supersets, anybody knows what that is, it's like you're just jumping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you can't even like lift your arms. So like I got I got a plastic cup of water and I'm like like fucking Michael J. Fox jacking off an elephant or something. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> Exhausting. So just remember, like supersets can lead to jacking off elephants or something. But uh, eating a little better. <laughs> that was a shaky joke. I know. <laughs> but even though I've been eating better, I, I do a lot of the shopping and I, I cook for my kids a lot. And uh, if I like. I've got all these fucking plastic bags. I have so many, I have like bags of bags. I don't want to throw it away, like I you know, use it for something, like on trash or whatever. But like, you get home and I like, I've got a bag and I like reach in and there's like more fucking bags. I'm like, these fucking Russian nesting dolls or something. So you got a bag with a bag of potatoes and inside that, yeah, there's another bag to get to the, I don't know. When, uh, but when I, when I like to, when I peel potatoes, like because it's kind of boring sitting and doing like kitchen work and stuff and making, you know, mashed potatoes for the kids or whatever. So like, I like to get imaginative, so like when I'm peeling potatoes, and I, I like to pretend like I'm a serial killer, and I'm just gouging those fuckers' eyes out. So it's, it's a good activity you can get engaged in in the future. And, uh, try not to try not to overdo it in the kitchen, though, because like you said there, you should like, make two things, and you got four sings, four dishes, even though you only have two fucking sings. Uh, that works. So uh, trying to avoid that, I call that the extra dishes treaty. <laughs> I'll skip that in the future. So, <laughs> if, but just just type in extra dishes treaty and see what it autocorrect does, and then you can get back to me later. So, I think I think I'll just go out on a sour note. How's that? Okay, everybody have a good night. Yes, sir.